Hello everyone. Welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy and today I will be talking about um, creating a matrix library and what is a matrix? So think of a matrix as a um, spreadsheet. So uh, the spreadsheet would contain a series of rows and columns and each row and column pair would store a um, would store data. So um, today, uh, I will basically give you a complete tutorial on how to create your own matrix library using C++. And uh, it's going to be a two-dimensional array which can store a string or numerical value depending on the implementation and. Uh, the library feature will, uh, you know, allow you to create the matrix in any size. Example given: two by three, ten by twelve, etc. You will be able to access the data for each row or column pair, like I said earlier. You will also be able to print all the information of the entire matrix. So that's pretty much the library features. So you can see here. Um, here are the examples that I'm giving you. Uh, this is a um, two by four matrix, and this is a two by two matrix. Okay, so stay tuned and uh, watch this great tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so let's begin the tutorial by opening a new terminal. Then using VS Code, we type in VS Code dot, and this will allow us to access uh, this folder. Okay, go ahead and click on uh, the second icon from the left. So click on that to create a new folder. So in this case, I'm going to call it Matrix and in the matrix I'm gonna create a new file called matrix.cpp so click on the first icon from the left and type in matrix.cpp and enter okay so let's declare our um, C++ he headers so we're gonna include vector which allow us to create these dynamic arrays Include string to be able to manipulate strings. Include idle stream for standard input output. Include map to allow us to create dictionary pairs. And then uh, using s namespace standard. And I'm going to define what a vector is. Okay, so define. Um, two dimensional vect is vector of vector string. Um, so this is a two dimensional vector in C. Next, let's define what uh, an unsigned integer is. So define um, u int is unsigned int. Okay. Next, let's create our structure. So this structure allow us to hold the dimension for our matrix. So in rows, columns. Okay. Then we're gonna create our class matrix. So class matrix we're going to have a public accessor so first we're going to make sure we have uh, our destructor then our constructor then we're going to go ahead and create our um, initialize routing so void 
initialize string var u int row size u int uh, column size and then string value okay next let's create our function to retrieve the value from our matrix so string uh, get val string var u int row number u int column number okay and let's save it okay next we want to create uh, the function to get rows so let's uh, u int get rows and we pass it a string var next we want to get columns so u int get columns and pass in a string var next let's declare our private members so here I'm gonna create a map string and this is going to be mapped to our two-dimensional vector that we created up there so um, we're going to call it store then I'm going to go ahead and create another map this is going to be used as a lookup to see if the variable uh, our variable exists or not so we're going to call this lookup then we're going to create another map so this is going to store our structure uh, which contain the rows and column so we're going to call this matrix dim, dim and let's save it for now okay so let's uh, implement our functions below so our first one would be our constructor then our destructor And then we're going to go ahead and create our initialized routing. So do void matrix and just copy the function declare from above. Okay, and then let's start implementing the function. So we're going to first declare our two-dimensional vector so we say we copy this from above and let's declare two dimen vector equal to vect matrix okay then next we're gonna go ahead and initialize it right so vect matrix and we're gonna do a resize based on the row size that we pass in so row size plus one okay next we're going to go ahead and create a for loop for u int uh, i equals zero i less than vec size so vect matrix dot size and i plus plus Okay, and then we're gonna uh, initialize this way and resize with the column size that we enter, uh, and it's gonna be plus one and the value uh, that we start with. Okay, then next we're gonna create our structure so our structure is this right here so let's copy this and we're gonna call it st uh, structure uh, s for short right so we're gonna in initialize it s columns is equal to the column that we pass in right so it's gonna be column size uh, s rows is going to be equal to row size 
then we're going to do the following. So we're going to say this uh, store var uh, is equal to our new uh, vec matrix that we created. Okay. Next, we're going to this um, matrix dim var is equal to our structure that we initialize. So this allows us to save the rows and column size that we want. Then we're going to set the lookup table to store, to set it to true. So we know that this variable that we created for this matrix has been set. Next, let's create our get row function. So you int matrix get rows and we want to pass in bar so this is going to return this matrix uh, dim bar and it will be uh, rows okay so next function will be to get our column so if we type in u int matrix get columns and we pass in var and this will return this matrix dim var columns okay and let's save it next let's create our set val function so void matrix and let's go up here and copy uh, this prototype and just paste it and let's implement for the function okay so we're gonna check for the boundary condition so we're gonna say if row number is greater than get row get rows var or column number is greater than get columns var then we're gonna send a message to the user see out cannot uh, set data because it's outside the boundary of the array okay in line and then do a return otherwise we can do a this uh, store var and here we set this to string val, val that we sent in and let's save this function next let's implement our get val function so we're going to do string matrix and let's go and copy the get val prototype so get val and just copy and let's start implementing so we're going to be checking for boundary condition as well so just copy this here from above and paste if, and if everything goes well then we're going to return this store var row number column number and that's it for this function next we're going to implement the print matrix function so print matrix var sorry, string var and we're going to check to see if that var the variable is in a lookup table if it exists then we're going to do the following u 
int uh, rows equal to this get rows and pass in var u int columns equal this gets columns var then we're going to do a cl matrix and we want a matrix name and then we're gonna also want to know the dimension so it's gonna be rows and columns and line then we're gonna do a loop so we're gonna do for u int i equals zero i less than uh, row rows i plus plus and then we're going to do another for loop for u int j equals zero j less than columns so right here this should be less than equal the row rows less than equal to columns and in here we're going to do a C out so each uh, basically displaying each cell of the matrix this get value bar I and then J and then close uh, the square bracket okay and outside of the for loop the nested for loop we're going to do a c out and line so that should complete our print matrix function okay so let's implement our main function so it main void and I'm going to go ahead and create a unique pointer and I'll explain why I'm doing this and I'm gonna call it X new matrix okay so the reason why using unique pointer is that we don't want to uh, get a memory leak okay so this will keep track of the object that we create and automatically uh, delete the object when it's outside the scope okay so we call this x and we're gonna go ahead and start initializing our matrix and we're gonna call it matrix A and we're gonna do a 5 by 5 matrix and set everything to uh, to a space and then we're gonna go ahead and initialize again and this time we call it B and this is going to be a 10 by 10 matrix and we're going to initialize it with the space then we're going to make another matrix and initialize this and we're going to call it C and this is going to be a B it's going to be a 3 by 3 matrix okay next we're going to set the value within the matrix so we're going to call the set val function and set val a 5 comma 2 and we're going to set it to apple then we're going to set it again set val a the a matrix and we're going to set it to 1 comma 4 um, pineapple Okay. Then we can also uh, do a print. So do x out value x call the get val function. Pass in the uh, matrix variable. So uh, do five comma two and an end line and so go ahead and copy this 
and do the same thing for 1 comma 4 up there okay and then we can do X print matrix and pass in the uh, matrix variable okay and then um, we're gonna go ahead and basically um, set the val for B so B I'm gonna go uh, do 4 comma 2 sugar X set val B uh, 2 comma 4 pi okay and then we do a print matrix for matrix B okay then for matrix C I'm gonna do the same thing here so let's copy this over here and just set C uh, and I'm gonna just uh, set 2 comma 3 because this is a 3 by 3 matrix and 1 comma 2 and just set this to uh, pair and then lemon okay and uh, last but not least we do a x dot print matrix of the matrix C that we just created up there and let's save this okay so let's open our terminal and CD to matrix then do ls ltr to list the files then type in g++ standard equal to c++ 11 matrix dash o and then the matrix oops and we have a issue on line 77 so let's go to line 77 in our code oh and it appears that I'm supposed to return something here not void right so just return an empty string and let's go back to our terminal and do a clear and let's recompile it and it works so let's execute it and as you can see from the output we have uh, a 5x5 five five matrix that we created. The next thing we created was the 10x10 10 10 matrix and we populated the rows, um, the, the cell with the correct value here. And the last one is matrix C. We have a 3x3 three three matrix. So after we looking at the output here, it doesn't look like it's correct and uh, it doesn't match our three by three you know three rows three column um, description so let's go back to our function that uh, prints out the matrix so it appears that we need to set this uh, i and j to be one right versus zero before so let's go back and recompile the code again and then execute the program and now it matches the description of our matrix okay so uh, this is all the time I have I know this is a long tutorial but I really hope that you enjoy and get something out of this and uh, if you like this tutorial please remember to press like and subscribe to support me any way you can and thank you very much for your time.